In the heart of 17th century Africa, a remarkable and resilient woman emerged as a symbol of resistance against colonial powers and a beacon of hope for her people. Queen Nzinga, also known as Njinga Band, is an iconic figure in African history, revered for her unyielding spirit, strategic brilliance, and unwavering determination. Her narrative is one of bravery, tenacity, and an unwavering pursuit of justice. This is the saga of Queen Nzinga, the warrior queen of Ndongo and Matamba. Nzinga came into the world in 1583 as a member of the Mbundu people, residing in the region now known as modern-day Angola. Born into a royal family, her father was King Kiluanji, and her brother Mban was the designated heir to the kingdom of Ndongo. Despite the prevailing gender norms of her time, Nzinga's early life was distinguished by privilege and access to education, setting her on an extraordinary path. However, Nzinga's upbringing was anything but ordinary. Her father recognized her intelligence and potential from an early age, grooming her for future leadership, even though she was a woman. Her education encompassed diplomacy, warfare, and statesmanship, skills that would prove invaluable during the tumultuous times ahead. In the 15th century, Portuguese explorers and traders arrived on the African shores, bringing not just trade goods but also the horrors of the transatlantic slave trade. As they established their presence in Africa, they aimed to exploit the native populations and secure control over valuable resources, particularly slaves and minerals. Please take a moment to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video. Your feedback keeps us motivated and inspired to create more content for you. Ndongo, Nzinga's homeland, was not immune to the encroachment of the Portuguese. Their insatiable demand for slaves and their ruthless methods posed a significant threat to the kingdom. In an attempt to maintain stability, Nzinga's brother, King Band, entered into a peace treaty with the Portuguese. Yet, this treaty would soon prove to be a double-edged sword, leading to further exploitation. In 1626, King Band, Nzinga's brother, passed away under mysterious circumstances, leaving the kingdom of Ndongo without a clear heir. The Portuguese seized this opportunity to assume power, installing a puppet ruler. Nzinga, however, refused to accept this affront to her people and her family's legacy. Assuming the mantle of leadership, Nzinga embarked on a campaign to resist Portuguese dominance and restore her brother's rightful lineage.